Making major spelling mistakes in listening A can reduce your score dramatically. So watch this video because I'm going to give you some tips on how to improve and ace your OET exam. Let's go. Hello, I'm Jo from Specialist Language Courses. We are OET premium preparation providers, which means you are in the right place for your OET. Be sure to check out our website and see how we can help you pass your OET exam. The link's below. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you're notified every time we upload a new video. Let's get started. What can you do to improve your spelling for listening part A? Being comfortable with common prefixes and suffixes can help you write your answers confidently during listening part A. Let's have a look at some examples. Do you know what they mean? So by refers to two or both. Latero, the side, neuro, nerve, optimo is to do with the eye, ectomy refers to removal, oscopy is a view inside of the body, plasty is a surgical repair, and osis is abnormal condition or state. Another way you can help prepare your spelling for listening A is learn the spelling of common medical terminology. Let's take a closer look. So here we have some examples. Oral, by mouth, can be tablets, capsules, mixture, elixir. Inhalation, breathed in. Inhaler, preventer and reliever. Sublingual, means under the tongue. For example, an angina tablet. Intravenous, through a vein. So IV drugs, IV fluids. Transdermal, through the skin. For example, a patch. Topical, on the skin, using cream or ointment. Nebulizer, breathed in. For example, saline nebulizer. Ocular, through the eyes, such as eye drops. And otic, through the ear, such as eardrops. And rectal, through the rectum. For example, an enema or a suppository. Once you feel more confident with medical terminology, it's a good idea to work on word partnerships. Let's take a look at some examples of some verbs in sentences. Swallow the tablets whole and don't chew them. The medication in asthma preventer is inhaled through the mouth. The tablet is placed under the tongue until it dissolves. Antibiotics, which needs to be absorbed quickly, are inserted in a vein. Pain relieving patches should be adhered to the skin of the upper arm. A small amount of cream is rubbed into the skin. The mist is inhaled until the nebulizer liquid is gone. A small amount of eye ointment should be squeezed into the lower lid. After pulling down the earlobe, one drop is instilled in the ear canal. The suppository is inserted into the rectum and allowed to melt in the body. In listening part A, you often have to write down the names of medications. Are you confident in your spelling of these? Let's find out by doing a little spelling test. Listen and write down the words you hear. One, omeprazole. Omeprazole. Two. Naproxen. Naproxen. Three. Clopidogrel. Clopidogrel. Four. Fluoxetine. Fluoxetine. And five. Amoxicillin. Amoxicillin. Okay, so let's take a look at how they are spelled. How did you do? And here are some more common medications which you could learn the spelling of. This is not an extensive list of the medication names that you could hear in part A, but you can begin with these and add more as you study. Listening A could be a consultation with another healthcare professional, for example, a physiotherapist or a dentist. 
So it's a good idea to learn the spelling of common words and phrases for the 12 professions. For example, optometry, we could learn pupil, retina, floaters, macular degeneration, dentistry, veneers, filling, braces, podiatry, heel, ingrown toenail, and physiotherapy, mobility, walking cane, stretch, range of motion. You can also use the listening aid transcripts to build up your knowledge of useful language for the 12 professions. Minor spelling and grammar errors are allowed in listening A, but the meaning must be clear despite any errors. For example, here we can see that psychiatrist, acupuncture and detached retina have been spelled incorrectly, but the meaning is still clear. However, spelling errors which change the meaning of the word would not be allowed. For example, here, injection instead of infection. And be careful of plurals, as having one lump is very different to having multiple lumps. Let's take a look at some study ideas to help you improve your spelling for listening A. To help you in preparation, it can be a good idea to become familiar with the different possibilities for spelling the same sound. For example, the OA in bloating is pronounced O. And the C in acne is pronounced K, not S. Let's take a look at some self-study ideas that you can use to help you improve your spelling for listening A. Make a list of your common errors. Why not put them on a post-it note and keep it in places where you know you will see it every day. For example, in the kitchen or bathroom. Write the words in various sentences so you are using the targeted words in different ways. Create flashcards or use apps like Quizlet, which you can access easily and review. Many of these types of apps also have spelling games or features with the flashcards that you create. Practice with a partner. Test each other regularly with your targeted spelling errors. Top tips for spelling for listening A. Raise your awareness so you know different ways of spelling the same sound. It might help you spot any errors. You have two minutes at the end of the listening exam to check your answers, and it's a good idea to use those two minutes to check your spelling. Review expected vocabulary so you can write accurately, confidently, and quickly in the exam. Keep your corrected errors in a prominent place. If you struggle with spelling, keep a list of vocabulary in places that you can see every day. So which two words do you find difficult to spell? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to check out our website. We've got the perfect OET preparation course to help you pass your exam. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to click on the information icon at the top and view our playlists. See you next time. Bye. Making major spelling mistakes in listening A. Another way you can help prepare your In listening part A, you often have to write down the names of medic. Be sure to check out our website. We've got the perfect OET preparation course for you to help you pass your exam. Information. I don't know why I said that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs>